and page. Sorry, the YouTube just got arrested, bro. He just got arrested. This is his mugshot right here. This is the dad. This is Flyboy, Alfredo, Freddy, whatever you want to call him. This is. Hi, y'all. What's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. You already know. So if y'all didn't hear, yes, Flyboy did just get arrested. So a lot of y'all have been commenting on my like previous videos that, oh, my God, like, did you hear he got arrested? This and that. He got arrested. I did hear, I think it was like around two days ago or maybe three now. Um, but like no one was saying why. Uh, we'll get into why, but I feel like nobody really knows. I don't know if it's really said, but, like, what else could it be? I mean, it is, like, public record, I think. I don't know. If y'all know why, please leave that down below, but we'll get into that. Whatever you want to call him, this is him. So, bro, he's been on the run since 2015. And check this out. Check this out. He's been on the run. He has a, he's been... He had a warrant for his arrest since 2015. And you know why? Why why they put a warrant a warrant for his arrest? Bro, he was messing with underage girls, dude. With underage girls, he, allegedly, allegedly, he got one of them pregnant. Bro, this mother. Oh, what a piece of crap. I'm not gonna go too far into detail. All I'm doing here is clearing up my name and saying what the fuck i said online okay y'all so since this came out everyone's been kind of saying that it was eileen that you know snitched on her baby daddy you know because she was like allegedly mad that he got a new girlfriend he's living his best life he's not like taking care of the kids so obviously she's gonna rat him out i mean it does <laughs> look like that like couldn't catch him since 2015 all of a sudden when she gets like mad that's when he gets caught you know so she's trying to clear her name being like no it wasn't me i didn't even know he got arrested this and that honestly i feel bad for him i feel like damn like you know that sucks because i know him i know him better than anybody knows him i've been with that man for 10 years i know how he is i know how he's going he's i know how he is and i just don't wish that upon him at all like i I mean, in my opinion, it just seems like she's still, like, really attached to him. Like, you know, obviously that's her, you know, father of her kids. She has, like, three, four kids with him. But, you know what I mean? She just loves rubbing it in Maria's face that I've been with him for 10 years. Like, you know, I know him the best out of everybody. Like, he's trying to move on, you know? Like, and it didn't work with, like, her situation with Alex. So... You know what I mean? It might be, like, the case of, well, you know, I'm alone now. I don't have anybody, and, like, now you're not going to have anybody. You know what I mean? Like, you would still, if he's not paying, like, child support or anything, he's really useless to you. He's just, like, rubbing it in your face that he's with another girl. So, yeah, that would that would be a motive right there, y'all. My kids felt that. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, they felt like, damn, like, you know, now we're not going to see my dad for a while or, like, however long he's in there like i said i'm not going to speak on his charges i'm not going to speak on anything because i do know everything that's going on with him i could easily call and get all his information um it's just like how she talks she just wants to know ev like tell everybody that you know she knows everything that's going on with him she's super close to him this and that but also like she was saying he wasn't even seeing the kids like he wasn't like coming to visit and this and that so i mean that could make her angry enough to be like you know what f you like i'm just gonna get you locked up now, I don't know for sure she did, but I mean, like, the motive's there. Like, you know, she's trying to act like she's not mad about it, mad about the whole situation. But obviously, you'd be mad if your, like, baby daddy is just living his, like, life with some other girl and not helping out with the kids at all. Like, obviously, he's, like, useless to you. So, like, why not just, like, make him pay? When you easily know everything about him, you know his charges, this and that, you could easily, you know you know you, like they it's been since 2015 like it's kind of random hey like if you want to talk to the kids you can you're more than welcome to if you want the kids to visit you can you're more than welcome to I haven't heard nothing clearly he doesn't care about his kids his kids are not his first priority his bitches simple as that and that's okay like that's him that's if that's what he wants that's fine but my kids, it's not going to hurt them because my kids are already so used to it. And my kids are used to not having their dad already. Do you see what I mean, y'all? Like, she's literally saying, 
you know, they he doesn't talk to the kids already, so, like, they're used to it. So, like, what's the difference if she gets him locked up now? She's, like, has so much anger towards Maria. You can tell because she calls her a bitch. She's, like, he's just her pri- or his priority is that bitch or his bitch, you know, like, speaking with, like, angry tone words. So, like, why not, you know, take him away from her? Like, that would be the ultimate payback. I mean, that's just in my opinion, like, you know, I get it. It's not like this is so shocking. If I, you know, if I heard that she did that, I'd be like, makes sense. Like, it makes sense because, like, who else? You know what I mean? So I get why the T-Pages, like, thinks that she did it because (laughs) the motive is there. I wasn't going to do this out of respect for his family because that's the first thing they asked was, like, just don't speak about anything on social media like we don't want nothing out there we don't want just shit confirmed and then i see a video going around about his girl making a video like practically confirming it and i was like what the hell like that doesn't make no sense like you guys just clearly said you don't want nobody talking about it on social media confirming it whatever the hell it is and there she goes and then i'm like okay like no like now no, because now I'm gonna speak on it because I'm the re- I'm getting dragged talking about you set your baby dad up. Eileen's the reason why he's in jail. First off, I have nothing to do with his charges. Those charges have nothing to do with me. That is from his past baby mama. Those charges have to do with her. Nothing with me, you guys. So yeah, she basically says like, you know, that has nothing to do with me. It's with the other baby mama that he was with like 10 years ago, like this and that or whatever. So like the thing is, is that, you know, I mean, the charges might not have anything to do with you, but you could have like tipped them off, like let them know like, hey, this is where this guy is. You know, he's wanted for this. Like, obviously, you know, he's wanted for that. So you could easily just like tell the like police that, you know. She could, like, you know, not that she did. We don't know for sure, but, like, it has nothing to do with are the charges from you or not. Like, you could just simply let them know. I, people were saying, like, oh, if Eileen wouldn't have said this, like, it wouldn't have been out. Everything has been out for years since I've been pregnant of Aria. Everybody's known this. Everybody's known about whatever is going on on social media. I... That's exactly why we got married. So if you guys do not know, this is exactly why we ended up getting married was because if I did not marry this man, he would have did more time in jail because he already had a case open from getting a 12 year old girl pregnant or yeah, she was 12 or 13 and he was 19 years old and he was with me. I was 15 when I got with him. He was 20 and i got pregnant at 16 and then i got pregnant again at 17 so i had two kids with him underage and if i wouldn't have gotten married to him he would have caught charges for me as well so the only way to avoid those charges for me is by me marrying him that's the only reason why we got married exactly why we got married two days after i turned 18 so yeah she clearly knows about the whole situation everything like that's why she married him and everything but she didn't she wasn't mad at him back then y'all like it's only been like since recent where shit really started going down once she lost alex now she kind of like has nobody he's with this new girl now because she was with alex first so obviously she wouldn't care what fly does but now that like alex and her are over it's like damn you know and now he has a new girl so it's like you know fuck him he has some like hate hate towards him like why not just you know like he's not doing anything for me he's useless to me let's just ruin what he's got going on because you know what i mean like obviously it just makes sense that you know she she could do that but who knows who knows what y'all think like do you think (laughs) she did that i mean she could have just did a little tip and that's it so he was running since 2015 recently i don't know if this was today or yesterday he got arrested the mugshot and guess who ratted him out (laughs) But guess who ratted him out? Yes, his baby mama, the one that had the YouTube channel with him. You know, this this is where they're saying allegedly, cheese man, whatever. They're saying that the baby mama, Eileen, ratted him out. I was like, damn, bro. With that stupid bitch and her fucking family, because they have a lot to do with a lot of shit. But I would never, ever, no matter how much I hated him, I would never on my in my life on my kids i would never do that to him ever 
Like, what the fuck makes people say that I did that shit? Like, I just seen the fucking a page that somebody sent to me. It was like a video of this fucking fat ass motherfucker saying that I set like I set him up and turned him in or whatever. I don't I don't even know what's going on. I don't speak to my baby dad. I haven't spoke to my baby dad since Christmas time. Like, what the fuck? Like, people literally need to mind their fucking business. Like, and then the the shit that makes me even more mad is that people are sitting here saying shit that's not even true. Like, people act like they fucking know what, like, the whole fucking story. You guys, I don't know anything that's going on with him. I don't know. I'm, I'm in my, I'm minding my own business. I'm not going to speak on his charges. I'm not going to speak on anything because I do know everything that's going on with him. I could easily call and get all his information. <laughs> I mean, you guys, she does contradict herself, like, so much. She'll be like, I don't know, like, anything. I know everything. Like, you know what I mean? She is known for being a little bit of a liar, and, like, that's kind of why people don't trust her and why people think she's lying about it. Like, why not? Like, I mean, it's so hurt to do that, you know what I mean? Because, like, why not? That's not my business to speak on. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to speak on that situation. And even if I did know anything, I'm not going to speak on it because at the end of the day, that's my kid's dad. That's their dad. And that's just people are just I just thought it was so crazy when I seen that. I was like, what the fuck? Like, is this like little bitch fucking like, oh, I can't stand his fucking ugly ass. He's so fucking disgusting looking like, bitch, you make me want to throw up looking at you. <clears throat> it was just so disgusting to me. But those letters were coming from the Bay Area. What a coincidence, right? It's such a coincidence that ever since that girl has gone with my baby dad, and we were talking about this, like just weird shit just started popping up, started happening that never used to happen before. So in her video discussing Flyboy's arrest, she starts talking about like Maria and like how weird shit started happening ever since like they've been together. And she was also talking about this letter that like was like written to Aria like about her daughter and stuff like, you know, trying to like talk bad about her or whatever so she's just saying like it's weird that's all from the bay area like you know it's just weird that she just mentions maria and all this like you can just tell like she just hates her you know what i mean like it's just she just hates her and then i seen like i guess she was saying like oh like we know who put out the address like this and that that maria was saying that about me and i was just like referring that towards me like first off I didn't even know his sister's address. I didn't know how to get there, but I didn't even know the physical address. Second, from what I know, because that night that his sister put her own address out there, and that's because I guess it got out there. These T pages, one thing is that they work hard. Those motherfuckers should be in, they should literally be in the FBI because I don't know how they find shit out that they find out, but they do. So people were saying that, oh, Eileen leaked the address. That's how they found him, this and that. And she claims, like, she doesn't even know the address. She just knows how to get there, this and that. I mean, it's not hard. Like, if you know how to get there and you know, like, what house it is, you could find the address. You could look at the street. Like, you know, she's just, like, trying to, like, say every way possible that it couldn't, couldn't be her. But, like, it just could be. Like, she, instead of trying to explain all this stuff, like, she'd just be like, you know, like, I like I didn't. And just, she's working overtime trying to, like, convince that there's proof that, like, how could I do it? Like, she could easily, she could easily report him you know what i mean so just like i could have easily reported him but like i didn't you know just like she's just working overtime trying to convince everyone that she couldn't have possibly been the one <laughs> you know but i don't think it was maria for sure y'all like she's been crying on her youtube channel like just sad like why would she do that like it doesn't make any sense for her to do that you know what i mean it makes sense for like eileen the the ex-baby mama to do that right because she has the one that like has the hatreds toward them like why would she ruin why would maria ruin something good that <laughs> they have it doesn't make any sense so for her to try and like blame maria like just doesn't make any sense it wouldn't be her and when i was notified of this arrest i they were like oh like we don't want to get you out like this and that blah blah I was like, okay, like, I'm not, I'm not going to go speak on it, like, on social media, because first off, I don't wish any bad upon him. He's the father of my kids still. 
I wish him the best. I hope for the best outcome from him. And I said this on live. This is another thing. And this is what made me do this video. So this way his family could watch. Because I know they're going to watch. Hello. And I know that that stupid bitch is going to watch my video as well. So all I said on live was the first thing I said was that bitch looked ridiculous. Who the fuck goes and gets a mugshot like that on a sweater? Who has time to do all that shit when this recently happened? I know because I went through this. I went through it twice. I was with him twice when he got locked up. I went through this right after having a newborn baby. My baby was three weeks old. The first time I went with it, having an eight month old baby and being pregnant, I went through this shit. I know that you don't have time. If you really love somebody and you're really hurting and you're really like not okay, you don't have time to do that shit. You sit there, you're like, you act like you're crying. You act like you're sad. So yeah, after Flyboy got arrested, Maria went to go get like his mugshot on a sweater. I mean, it's kind of cute. Like, you know, Anyways, so she makes this video. She also has, like, the mug shot on him. Like, you know, they do do, like, YouTube. They are influencers type things. So, like, you know, they got to do, they got to keep it up. So, you know, everyone deals through these things differently, you know? Like, this might be her way of coping. Obviously, Maria has a lot of time. Like, she doesn't have any kids. You got to remember, like, <laughs> Eileen had, like, what, two, three kids already. I mean, yeah, you had a newborn. I mean, you're not going to have time to do all this stuff. But, like, single people and, like, people that don't have kids literally got nothing but time. Trust me, this is coming from someone who doesn't have any kids. We have nothing but time, y'all. We have nothing but time. So when the person that you're spending all your time with is gone, like you have even more time, like you're literally just bored at this like part, you know what I mean? She was busy with kids. So yeah, obviously she's not going to have time to go like do all this extra stuff, get a sweater like this, that, you know, and like Maria is sad, but she maybe isn't the type to just be at home, like crying constantly. Like she's still like can, is able to leave the house, like do things, you know, but she's sad about it, obviously, but you can still kind of function. Like, I mean, there's just different types of people who handle things differently. So it's just funny that Eileen wants to be like, oh, you're acting sad, this and that. And like, just is coming for her, like just coming for her. Like it really doesn't even have anything to do with her. And she just like loves to come for her and like, you know, just talk shit about her because she just hates her. You can just tell. And I, all I said was, damn, like he was in line when he said you're really bipolar because he has told me like, oh, she's bipolar as fuck. Girl, it showed in that video. All I said was you look like a clown. You look ridiculous. And you don't have time to do that shit when you're really going through shit. And that was about that. And it's because of other shit that I found out that... I just think there's just something going on but with that situation, but I'm not going to speak on it. Like I said, I'm not going to go too far into detail. All I'm doing here is clearing up my name and saying what the fuck I said on live. Like, I was, my kids felt that. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, they felt like, damn, like, you know, now we're not going to see my dad for a while or, like, however long he's in there. Like I said, I'm not going to speak on his charges. I'm not going to speak on anything. Jordan took it the hardest. Jordan did cry. He was an emotional wreck that whole rest of the day. The next day, he, you know, was like, Mom, like, can I talk to my dad? Can we go see my dad? My kids, it's not going to hurt them because my kids are already so used to it. And my kids are used to not having their dad already it's just weird y'all because she just like she just contradicts herself in her own video she's like my kids were so upset that they're not going to see their dad anymore and it's also like oh they're not going to be upset because they're used to this they're you know they already didn't see him so it's like you know nothing's changed you know what i mean so it's like definitely <laughs> I mean, there's motive there for sure. I could definitely see why people think it's her. It's like all of a sudden, you know, she was talking about the charges on live and now like he's arrested for the charges. So like, it's just suspicious. And like, I really honestly, in my opinion, don't think it was Maria for sure. Why would she like, it doesn't make any sense. doesn't make any type of sense. So I don't know, guys, what do you think? Like, do you think <laughs> she would do that? Do you think like it makes sense for her to do that? Or do you think like, you know, that she, he finally just got caught up because, you know, just like a quick coincidence with the timing and everything like what y'all think what's your opinions and you already know i'll see you in the next one and see if there's any updates and when he'll get out